very special feeling, especially when it's for the first time. At that time, means we see that mother don't feel the connectivity, don't share that bond with child, and you know, appears to be sad and lonely and isolated herself. So today we will talk about postpartum depression. This is Praveen Kaur, psychologist at Amal University and we have Dr. Vikram Fajar, psychiatrist and Dr. Monica Maheshwari, gynecologist with us. Hello sir. Hello. Hello. So today we will talk about postpartum depression, its symptoms, risk factors and treatment. The most common yet so neglected issue. Okay, so we'll begin with Dr. Monica. Like from the beginning, when the mother conceives, from the nine months, you are in touch with the mother and her family, and you're the first one to figure out or observe the symptoms in the mother. So how do you uh, notice or observe them? You know, when patient comes first time after delivery for the follow-up the checkup, usually she should be happy. Because in her life, we Many baby uh, addition, addition hua hai, so they should be happy. But you know, sometimes examining me, assessing, we figure out ki, yeah, something is something is wrong. Yeah. She becomes emotionally unstable. Aap kuch pusha chahoge, uske indirect answers hmm. She becomes emotionally unstable and mood anxious, yeah. mood swings, and she starts crying yeah. for any reason. Yeah, because uh, the child also comes with the new responsibilities. And yeah, and because uh, uh, actually her life has totally changed. Yes. yes. When I as, as the questions to the mother, then I realized that yes, because the life has totally changed because I confined to single room and only busy with the baby. Yes. Yeah. The and entire life which, uh, revolves around the child, and the me time is like it's missing in her, right? So with this, sir, uh, uh, what are the risk factors for the postpartum depression? Uh, what ma'am was talking about, the commonest are the postpartum milieus which we call. Yeah. These are there in 30 to 75 percent of uh, uh, females after childbirth. Mm -hmm. And these start after three days and they continue up to two weeks. Okay. The common symptoms are whatever ma'am was telling, mood swings, irritability, decreased sleep, insomnia, anxiety. Mm -hmm. And uh, at times, uh, unable to believe whatever is happening around. And the risk factors are uh, the commonest are uh, the any family history of any psychiatric disorder, yeah. so any history of psychiatric disorder in the patient, yeah. as well as uh, family history of any postpartum psychiatric disorder in first pregnancy, yes. and uh, history of cesarean section, and uh, poor social support. These are the common risk factors. Yeah. If she is a single mother, she yes. is a working mother, yes. these symptoms have been seen more in such females. Even you know, I have seen the few patients, uh, those who have complained that unka, they have poor concentration. Okay. okay. And then sometimes they want to kill the baby. Because opna, itna, they get so much frustrated yeah. with the change of their life that they really don't they don't want a baby now. Mm -hmm. For which they have been waiting since last nine months. Nine months. Yeah. And sometimes the height of this is that they even do suicide also because of this. That's shocking. Yeah. What could be the possible reason that mother didn't feel connectivity with the child? Because in a society, the mother-child bond is worshipped so much. Then, as you said, the mother is waiting for the child for the last nine months, and the baby is in her hands. Even then, she don't feel the connectivity. What might be the possible environmental issues if we consider? The most important is the change of the life. So, the change in the life, lifestyle, yeah. lifestyle. And she is confined to a single room with the baby. Yeah. Our Indian rituals are like that these ladies are not allowed to then, you know, meet the guests, to watch television, watch mobiles. So, their social life, their personal life is totally changed. They are socially isolated by our society only. And when she is confined to a single room, as you said, so obviously such thoughts will appear. And as sir said, uh, already mentioned that there are the hormonal changes and all. Yeah, there are problems in adjusting with a new and person in the family. Yes, constantly. That is the crux of the problem. Yes, plus. And ma'am also mentioned that uh, especially in the single mother, uh, such things are more prominent. And even if the mother is working, at times we see uh, in in our surroundings that after delivery, 
the mother quit the job this this could also be an insecurity uh, of a mother yes because you know uh, the responsibility increases to 24 hours a day yeah. and males are usually working hmm. they go to their work and is left only to the mother to take care of the baby that too there is no time for baby baby won't take won't sleep at night hmm. the entire attention is on the baby yes. whereas the mother also needs and deserves the same uh, me time yeah the attention affection care right and that is lacking so maybe that could be also one of the very major reason of disconnecting with the child and the sleepless nights yes yes all the baby will get up in after every two hours for the milk or uh, for changing yeah. diapers, diapers. Yeah. so the only mother is left to take care of her of the baby okay so as we are talking about the mothers and i believe and obviously the child is not just not just belong to mother but to father especially in our society uh, the child get the last name of the father then there is also question or uh, responsibility of father that should be added there so what's your take especially uh, sir yeah definitely both the partners should take equal responsibility yes. to take care new one yes and uh, mother should be given adequate rest, rest at yes. night yes so the problem yes. won't be there yeah at least uh, the problem would be less because the mother the, the kind of love and temper a child the mother also create the same love and not only the husband also the in-law or yeah, the mother in law it also plays a very important role yeah she should understand the lady mother and she calm her tell her about her experiences kyunki ek to ye bhi hota hai ki nayi mother banne ke baad unko फ्रिक्शन इन द फैमिली एनवायरमेंट ऑल्सो क्रिएट्स द फीलिंग ऑफ डिप्रेशन इन द मदर सर वॉट इज डिफरेंस इन पोस्टमार्टम डिप्रेशन एंड पोस्टमार्टम ब्लूज पोस्टमार्टम ब्लूज इज ओनली माइल्ड फॉर्म ऑफ डिप्रेसिव सिम्टम्स विच सबसाइड ऑन इज फोन इन राउंड टू वीक्स विद ओनली एडिक्यूट स्लीप एज वेल एज reassurance to the patient okay. but postpartum depression usually presents late than postpartum blues okay. the prevalence is less the prevalence of postpartum blues is 30 to 70% mm-hmm. and it postpartum depression is only 10 to 30% but the patient will have full blown depressive symptoms whatever we can expect in other patients with depression mm-hmm. the risk of suicide is there uh, depressed mood is there there is no interest in taking care of the baby the sleep usually decreases appetite decreases and there is sometimes there is uh, irritability in the uh, patient so let's move to the prevention and treatment yeah treatment uh, treatment is uh, required on you know, emergency basis yeah. because postpartum disorder the disorders they pose threat to both the mother as well as newborn yes and uh, one thing is main treatment is reassurance as well as adequate sleep Yes. So minimum, whatever minimum medicines we should give, the patient should be given, yes. as, as well as the some other family member should take care of the newborn till the time, and yes. the baby should be given to mother only mm-hmm. when there is time to for breastfeed. Yes. Otherwise, uh, some other family member should take care as a primary caregiver for the kid. Exactly. Basically, if the mother gets adequate me time, adequate feeling of being loved, appreciated. Sleep. This will help the mother to get out of it, along with the help of medication if necessary. And uh, sir, how long does the medication? Medication should be continued in postpartum blues. Should be continued for less than at least 15 to 20 days. Okay. And in postpartum depression, it should continue at least for three months. Yes. So obviously, uh, ma'am, as you already mentioned, like the family environment, 
then the career then obviously sleep deprivation then we'll also uh, talk about body appearance because no matter what how much we uh, discard this we want to look good right so this is something like after the pregnancy there is some uh, thing about whether i'll be able to lose weight or whether i'll be back in the shape also so okay, this will definitely take time but this is something pregnancy and it's a part of time yeah. and it's every it's a couple months so you should be prepared for its changes and impacts on the body yeah, yeah. and it's it's healthy to enjoy yeah, yeah enjoy, enjoy the phase. pregnancy and the early childhood of your baby yes if you're suffering any of the symptoms of okay. like blues or depression time you should consult your doctor the mother will be able to cope up with the symptoms with, with the medicine as well as without medicine what should be the adequate treatment yes and we also uh, enhance the upbringing uh, of the child and make your motherhood experience good to try to include that both mother and child deserve equal attention affection and care and yes the newborn with responsibility of both the parents the both should share equal responsibility thank you